Hi, my nieces and nephews. Auntie is back again. Yes, the family is back together again. Today, oh, housekeeping first. You know how can I can always forget the housekeeping. Thank you for your all of your love and support to my channel. And for those of you that are just browsing and running along, I hope you subscribe and like my channel and stick around because everything that's coming out of this kitchen is strictly coming with love. I love to cook. It's my passion and I'm happy to share with all of you. Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to be making some blackened fish, okay? I'm using flounder, so if you give until a moment, we'll be back together again, together around the stove, all right? Hold on. Now, I'm going, we're going to go over the seasonings we need. Now, to make blackened fish, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy the uh, spice that says blackened you can make blackened seasoning yourself and i'm going to go over everything that's basically in a blackened season except on only only ingredient i'm leaving now is uh cayenne pepper because um auntie can't do the spice okay but first we're going to start off i'm going to be cooking two pieces of flounder flounder is a very very light delicate fish doesn't have that fishy flavor and these pieces Make sure they're washed and dried completely because they need to be completely dry because then your seasonings won't stick. You're going to, I'm going to, let me get my spices over here because I've already got them together. Now this is for two pieces of flounder. If you have more fish, you can use this on any recipe. It doesn't have to be fish. It can be chicken, it can be steak, it doesn't matter. But this is blackened seasoning, okay? So what we're gonna start off with, you're gonna have, this is, whoa, this is one tablespoon of garlic powder with one tablespoon of onion powder. Now you know what auntie has forgotten, her dear sweet bowl over here. Let me make sure. Oh, <laughs> the bowl is right here. Ooh, Jiminy Crickets, woohoo. Okay, one, tablespoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of onion powder get that thrown in a bowl little housekeeping you're going to take one tablespoon of thyme dry thyme here it is not thyme powder thyme um leaves now if you don't have dry i mean thyme powder or i mean dry thyme leaves you can use uh, dry thyme powder, but you're gonna have to use one teaspoon of thyme powder, okay? When it's uh, powdered down, you cut it in half, okay? One teaspoon of oregano, one, yeah. One tablespoon of oregano. I'm going, this is, I'm gonna show you what this, this is something that I add on my own. I add a teaspoon of this Tony Chaka Cherries. You can get this at Walmart. Let me bring this over here. I don't get the spicy one. The original Creole season, this is what I use. This is something I add to black. And my black and season gives it that. Mm. That's, what I, that's what I said. It gives it that. Mm. Okay. This is one tablespoon one and a half tablespoons of my black pepper no i'm sorry it's four tablespoons of black pepper that's why it's called black and like i said jiminy crickets woohoo okay and very important too paprika you can use smoked paprika or you can use regular paprika i don't like smoked paprika so i use regular paprika and what i'm going to do is get me a little swishy swishy here and I'm going to mix all these beautiful spices together now since auntie has some thumbles bumbles rumbles I'm going to go over the ingredients again okay one tablespoon of paprika smoked or regular you're gonna have one tablespoon of garlic powder 
one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of dried thyme, or one teaspoon of thyme powder. That's ground thyme. You're going to, um, four teaspoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of dried basil, one tablespoon of dried oregano. Now, I did not use cayenne pepper in here. And I want me to have a little bit more color, so I'm going to have me a little bit more paprika. I love paprika in the for flavor. That's about a teaspoon more. Add a little more of that. I want some more paprika in here. Yes, I did. Okay. So. Black and that's your black and season. Like I said, you don't have to go buy that bottle. I mean, the, whatever they call it, jar. Okay, we're gonna get, get my pan over here. Now I have some olive oil, which I'm going to put in my pan. My regular extra virgin olive oil. You guys see? It's my extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna get in this pan. I'm not going to put any garlic or onions or anything like that in the pan because what? I already have it. Now I need to get my pan a little hot. Now this is this olive oil doesn't have a high heat, heat context, but I just need to get this olive oil heated. And while the olive oil is heated, I'm going to rub these down on both sides from the olive oil. And then I'm going to rub it with some seed, with my seasonings. So what I'm going to do. Show you what I'm doing. Putting some olive oil on these. Just think about these non sticks, honey. Okay, got my out and down. I'm gonna. They've been rubbed down on both sides with the olive oil. Now I'm going to take my seasonings. Cook. I always cook with your seasoned side down first, okay? You sear with your seasoned side down first. I'm going to get my seasonings. And I'm going to rub them down like that. Have enough that I can put in my little Tupperware thing and save when I cook me some more fish. Okay, see, I'm rubbing it, rubbing my seasonings on here. It's already not looking good, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat down. I'm gonna get my fish in here. I'm going to say cook with the best flesh part down. All right, I'm going to place this down. You can hear it already. That oil is good and hot. I'm going to put this nice seasoning salt part down. I'm going to let this sizzle, change gloves. A little housekeeping. Move this out the way. Turn your heat down because you know you do not want to have a big boo in you know, the olive oil. Yes. I got my, uh, what do you call it? My uh, spatula. Got my spatula together. My noon chucks for cooking. Cooking noon chucks. That's what you're looking for, my friends. This is what you're looking for. Doesn't take doesn't take flounder too much longer to cook because uh, flounder is, is 
And I get these flounders at Sam's because they come individually wrapped. And I think I paid, I don't know what I paid, but I think I got like 14 pieces in the bag. Can't remember. Well, you can go on the website probably see it. That's how checks were done. It's, I checked that tail. See, the tail came apart. Woo! It's done. My fish is done. Done. You don't want to overcook your fish. You don't want to do that, my friend. Come get me a nice, pretty plate. And get this on a plate. Get me a little tasty, tasty. Turn this off, put this over here for some housekeeping. Right, my friends here it is right now let me get me a little tasty tasty all right nieces, nieces and nephews let's see what this let's get some tasty taste I'm gonna get this little piece that broke off here blow on it I'm the fish eater in the house I, I eat a lot of fish flounder salmon Catfish. Mmm. Delicious. <coughs> Didn't have any ketchup on it. Mm. Couldn't get it past, but that's all right. I will, these pieces will be smothered in ketchup. <laughs> okay, my friends. Hold on. Not my friends. You know, I have to remember, we're family. Hold on. Okay, my friends. My nieces and nephews. See, bumbles and rumbles and crumbles today. Sorry about that. Okay, thank you, my nieces and nephews, for uh, stopping in and hanging out with your auntie uh, for that blackened fish. It's really delicious, but auntie, auntie made a big rumble crumble. She forgot to wet it up, okay? Had to get some water and get it all passed through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's life. Life keep what? Moving. Okay, like I said, there are no retastes. If y'all have rumble crumbles, I keep going, right? All right, thank you, my friends, for, um, <laughs> I took a beat. Thank you, nieces and nephews. Got to get used to, because I got to get used to the term. But you know, you are always family, and you will continue to be family. Thank you for stopping in and hanging with your auntie. Um, until the next time, hugs and kisses to each of you. You know I love you guys. Thank you for sort of supporting. Thank you for supporting my channel. Until the next upload, you know, I'll see you then. Bye.